okay. Can't you be Little Miss Hero Pants some other time? Very beginning. Uh, uh. Yeah, let me let me just let me just yeah uh, just 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 All right, let me introduce myself again because I'm a dumbass. Uh, my name is El Nacho. I run Freedom Planet. Um, time begins when I be choose the character. I'll be running Adventure Mode as Carol. Um, and the reason why I play adventure mode is because I like the cutscenes, so yeah, uh, time starts now. Sorry about that. Alright, so now I'm gonna skip this cutscene because uh, it's over, so I just wanna save some extra time. So now the game begins. This is Dragon Valley. That was Dragon Valley. This is Relic Maze, stage 2. Uh, it's a very complex stage with lots of strats and like movement tech and all that. Uh, you know, uh, that was Relic Maze. Um, so, stage 3, Fortnite. So, yeah, the reason why that happens is due to the way the cutscenes are like coded. Uh, the right input from Lilac on the first cutscene carries over to Carol on the next one. And... You move into the next, like, ID in the map, like the main map where all the cutscenes happen. And you just end up in the cutscene right before Fortnite. And then you just skip the next stage and congratulations, you skip two stages. So you may notice that I'm on a bike. This is how you go fast as Carol. Uh, she's infuriatingly slow without a bike. So if you're gonna speedrun this game, you need you need the bike. There are a couple stages that don't have a bike. And one of them was Relic Maze, one of the stages we skipped. So something you're gonna see me doing constantly is boost, just to keep my speed at all times, even though it doesn't really reset unless I jump. And I'm coming up to a trick called the second wrong warp. There's actually two, but Carol can only, can only do this one. And I'm just gonna pause buffer over here and try to switch directions in the in this roof. It's kind of finicky. There we go, there we go. That's the room warp, I just skipped like half this screen part before doing that. I didn't mean to do that. There we go. So now I'm coming up to the first mini boss of the stage. Which is that thing. And that thing's dead. So something you've, you'll see me doing all the time is rolling and then jumping and clawing and then clawing over and over again. That's called the wild claw combo. That's the highest, that's the most efficient way of doing damage as Carol. So this is the second half of the stage. Uh, 
we're supposed to grab that thing. We'll drop down here. And we'll just hold it right a little fast. We go up here. And we're not supposed to grab that, this, that thing. We need to grab this one. And I miss the jump. Normally I can get enough air from that thing to get all the way up here without having to grab this thing. Now here I'm just gonna drive up the wall. And I can just skip the, a hole going back and forth in some platforms. And just do that. Instead. I wanna get into that elevator because it slows me down. Something you also see me doing is attacking right after a double jump. That's just to stop the double jump as soon as possible and regain control. So this is the second mini boss. That was the second mini boss. And we're at the boss of the stage. This is uh, Robo Panther. It's a big robotic panther thing in my bob. And I haven't mentioned this, but the bike dies in three hits, except here. This, here the bike is scripted, so you have a permanent bike. Uh, the world record holder of this category actually uh, tested something with cheat engine, and it's actually better to fight him without the bike, but it's impossible to do that without cheating. So. We're, stuck, we're stuck with this. Combat, combat in general is just way better um, with the bike. Oh, I mean, without the bike. Oh, here's the fire where I just skipped the cutscene. It's there. No one cares. So, Sky Battalion. This level is cruel for Carol Runners. There's a very simple reason why. Are they done? Okay, can I keep playing the video game? I guess I'll just keep going. Uh, so here I'm just gonna reset so that the, so the ships, so I don't have to wait for the ships to get into position, so it saves time. And those things down there, those things, uh, those cannons, they're brutal. Those cannons just kill your bike if they hit you. And there's a huge problem with this level. There's only one bike in the entire stage. And there are three of those cannons right after it. So I got the bike now. And now the three bloody cannons are coming up. Okay, I got past them. If I get hit by those cannons, the, the run is dead pretty much. So this is the first miniboss, there are three in this stage. One for each ship that you have to get in. And that was the first ship. Shit. I just did what's called the, de the fake death bug. I just lost my bike. Um... Um, the da 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 It's a good thing that back then I didn't know there was a bike in this stage. So I kind of know how to deal with it without a bike, but god damn it! <laughs> Out of all the things that happened, they had to be that. What an amazing meme! So I pretty much died, but didn't lose the bike because I died on the loading screen. So I just lost the bike.
So now you get to see how how truly slow she is without bike. Alright, so this is a psycho mini boss, it's just a chopper. And that was a chop that was like a mini boss. I'm just gonna go to the third ship now. And once again I'm just gonna reset here to start to reset the ships without having to wait for them. this wall so yeah the difference between having a bike and not having a bike is just absurd to the point where I've done like bikeless runs and they're like 15 minutes slower in, in, on average Since I have the I have the metal shield, so I can just walk through the, over the spikes. They're nothing. There are five different shields in the game. So this one's the metal shield. It makes me immune to electricity and spikes. Uh, there's a yellow one, which is the earth shield. I think it's the earth shield. Yeah. Uh, it attracts crystals and makes me immune to um, like crystal-based attacks, like that one. Uh, there's the fire shield that does damage if you touch something while having it. There's the, the water shield that allows you to breathe underwater. And there's the, um, the wood shield, which is, which is pink, that attracts light petals, which are these two red things right here. So this is Dale. Uh, he's on a giant peacock, and we have to destroy that by uh, hitting the balls on his feathers, and and then hit him. Hit. They're invincible when they're turned yellow. They're invincible. Oh yeah, well kicking makes you immune to anything, or almost anything. You just invincible. So this is the final phase, but you can see that the things are red. And that was Sky Battalion. Now we, have to, we just have to wait for the slowdown. There we go. It's this is far from over. This is far from over, you're correct. This is stage four. And he's out. He he just bails. Then a, a lot of a lot of a lot of things happens that I don't care about, and we go to stage five, Jade Creek. This is probably the best stage to just speedrun in general, because it's a really fast stage for all three characters, and only that is the only stage to start you off with a bike. And this was actually the first stage that I that I started speedrunning as well. So it has a very special place in my heart. I should mention, uh, I'm playing on normal difficulty, that means every shield has two hits. So I can basically take two hits with it without taking damage. Uh, unless I'm, Im uh, I'm like immune to something based on the shield. So, as, as, you, I, as you heard earlier, uh, the... Well, I'm not, I'm not uh, <coughs> the... The metal shield makes you immune to spikes, so if you hit spikes they don't count hit as hits. Anything else counts. So same thing with the fire shield. You know, you, you need to fire. Then 
then the, the water shield also has immunity to those um, these purple things. Uh, you, you can actually reflect those bubbles with it. Uh, I don't think the wood shield has any like resistances. I'm not entirely sure. And yeah, I think that's it. So this is Nira. This is the the mid boss. That was that was the mid boss. So now this is the submarine. Uh, you'll see the water will be rising and lowering like every once in a while. Nice meme. I'm just gonna use these jump pads on. Uh, Carol can use those jump pads to move across the, the stages. They're like scripted jumps that you can take. And uh, yeah, yeah, I can see a cat boom in there. Oh, Lord. No, 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 not the cat boom. Anything about that. Okay, wow, yeah, I forgot to mention, this game likes to eat inputs, and it just ate my jump input, that was a very fun meme, it happens quite rarely, but it does, and it's very annoying. Okay, so this is the, the, the end boss, um, you might recognize him from the Royal Panther. Um, he's on food now. You can run him over, over, over and over again. And he now is in a chopper, and I didn't mean to get him back. So now what I want to do is wild claw with the windshield, and as it goes down, so I can just wild kick it. And that was Dead Creek. And yes, when you see the like the like the frame rate going low, like on the on at the end of those bosses, yeah, that's simulated. That's 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 intended. Do you mind so, if I re the quick donation? Ah, uh, sure. Go ahead. We have fifteen dollars from Winterbit, who says, "As for my promise." Here's one dollar for every adjective chat added to the Temple of the Frog manual excerpt. Special thanks and good luck to everybody running this awesome event. P.S. Hex, hex Slippy, because frogs. <laughs> anyway, the reason why I didn't skip that, la that previous cutscene is because um, that cutscene is unskippable, so I have to wait until this one so I can skip to the next stage. And now here is his tri trap hideout. This one is an exclusive stage for Carol. And Mila, TM. Um, those lasers, you might think I can just um, walk you through them. I can't. They are the exception to the rule. So I have to wait for the cycles. And that's a lot of fun. And I have been able, I've been. I've died previously to these things because they, they hit you so many times. And they can actually and they actually stun lock you, so that's even worse. Like that, see I tried to walk it through it and it didn't work. And it just stops me. Okay, so here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna restart. And this actually freezes the timer since we use in-game time. This is actually useful because as it freezes the timer, I still can move. It only happens in this stage. So I can just save in-game time by resetting. And just moving through the stage while the timer is like off-screen. I want to go up here because there, here is the nearest bike. As I've said before, as Carol, you need to get the bike as soon as possible. Grab this 
shield, and you're gonna see me jumping back and forth a lot in this session. Okay, so this is the mid boss. Uh, giant red ball with yellow pistol things. And that was probably my best mini boss in this, in this that I've gotten so far, like in my life. So, uh, that's pretty good. Going, there's just a little back and forth in this section, and then I can just boost through this. I'm trying to avoid jumping at this because they disorient me if you go all over the place with those. Okay, there we go, that, I lost my bike, but it's fine because there's one right here. So now you're gonna see something weird. I'm just gonna jump here four times. And what I just did was set up the quick kill for the boss. Because the hitbox for him is right up there, so I can just damage him. But I have to be careful, I can only jump there four times. If I do it a fifth time, I actually kill him and he becomes unkillable. Now it's just me going back and forth killing all these bikers. Alright, so that's Spade, that, that, that's the boss, and he's gone. So that was Trap Hideout. Uh, over here comes another unskippable cutscene, so I'm just gonna mash through it as well. Alright, so now I can go to the next stage, Thermal Base. I absolutely hate this stage. It's by far my least hate favorite. Like, the stage itself is not that bad. But there's a particular sip coming up that I absolutely despise because of how absurdly finicky it is. Normally on my attempts I just do it once, but this is a, this is a marathon, I'm gonna do it three times. And I completely missed my window because I wasn't paying attention. There we go. And I got it! Hooray! Jesus Christ, I hate this sip so much! But I did it. You know, the, this is the rule of thermal base. If my run is going terrible, I get the sip. That's how it works. It happened last time and it happened today. Okay, so they're not... Wait, they're, they're not here. Okay. They're down there. Normally I reset there to despawn those guys, but they weren't in my way, so I'm not gonna... It's not necessary. Here's another ship, this is far easier, I just need to uh, put those boxes together and do that, and that's it. So here I need to I need to pick up speed so I can jump or grab that hangbar. Because that way I can just I, I can just avoid two shade troopers, that's what the little soldier guys are called. I can avoid two of them because they will chase me to the minibus. So I want to avoid aggro. To unlock this door, stand on the blinking floor panel to your right. So this is Syntax, uh, Spider Syntax to be more precise. Uh, she's the miniboss. It's not over quite yet, I just need to hear it again. Okay, that was the miniboss. So now I have to outrun that fire thing. I'm just gonna grab the bike that's conveniently there and boost my way out of here. So I need a T-card. Alright, so this is the second half of Thermal Base. There are... There's a skip that I don't do because I, I just 
I just don't understand how to do it. So I don't even bother. But there's another one that's far easier to do that I can do I can just do that one. I'm gonna grab a fire shield here so I can get some def some defense. Here you see I lose the shield, that's because, well, it's a fire shield, and you know, fire doesn't go away with water. Anyway, that's the escape I just mentioned. I just avoided a lot of going back and forth by doing that. And now my favorite part of the game, insta-kills. Those things, they take no prisoners, they just kill you. You can have invincibility, you can have uh, the shields, you can have uh, the Lord and Savior, you're gonna die. That is, that is, that is, that is, that is, that is, that is. Yeah, talking is hard. All right, so I'm coming up to the, to the boss. All right, so here you're gonna see me doing something weird. Uh, I'm going to restart and then cancel it by hitting pause, and that just gives the fade out. It says like I don't know, like 0.2 seconds or something. It basically just skips the fade out altogether. And here's Syntax again. Now she's a jellyfish thing I'm above. And there's a lot of waiting in between hits. That's the second one. There's a last phase. I just need to wait for her to throw the balls around and then she has to spin all over the place. So we just wait. And wait. And wait. And get hit. And wait. And that was Sinta, that was Thermal Base. Normally my 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 end time on this stage is about 5 minutes. And that's because I never get the zip. Alright, so here's an auto scroller. Uh, absolutely nothing interesting happens. It's just All me right. holding right and pressing buttons. He's gonna aim right in front of me, so anything that's right in front of me dies and I'm gonna hit. And yeah, there's a whole lot of nothing going on right now. But funnily enough, this part doesn't count towards in game time. You could actually like game over and die over and over again, spending like, 7 hours on this part and still get world record because it doesn't count. I just need to keep doing this until the distance runs out. There we go. So here's the boss of the schmop. That was the boss. So now the real stage begins, which is Battle Glacier. This stage is also brutal, but this is more brutal for casual players because it's a long stage. There's a lot of things to, things to avoid, and the mini boss does bonkers amounts of damage. go down here I'm gonna get a, 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 a earth shield normally sometimes I go through it without like getting up on the platform sometimes it doesn't work I don't know how I don't know how it works it just does and it just doesn't so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna question it I'm just gonna accept that it didn't work this time those like purple blocks you see they are scripted 
so it's uh, if you play this take enough times you'll know where they appear. But the first time they they are confusing. As I mentioned before, the Earth Shield like tries crystals. They actually fill up my meter. Uh, for Carol, the meter, the meter doesn't really matter. Uh, for Layla, like, it does matter because her her ability requires like a full bar. I'm trying to hit the thing. I'm trying to hit the thing. I hit the thing, but I missed. There we go. That's what I wanted to do. You can actually hit all three of these at once and hit all three blocks, but it's not easy. At least for Carl, it's not easy. All right, so here's here comes the mini boss. I can manipulate his movement by keeping by jumping in his direction as I hit the the weak point. That was the mini boss. Now I have to wait for him to fly off. And the second half of the battle pressure begins. There's actually a sip here, but it's like excessively high risk. Because if you miss it by one pixel. Uh, you soft lock, and if you soft lock, you have to restart the stage. And if you restart the stage, you lose the bike. Therefore, your run is dead. And I still haven't figured out where to stand, so I'd rather not try it yet. Here's a, a, a bunch of switches that I have to hit. Uh, you'll see red and green blocks. These switches turn them on and off. I'm gonna walk you through this uh, spike so I don't lose hits for the shield. Again, more more uh, switches. All right, that's the end of the switches. There are no more switches. I'm just gonna heal the bike by grabbing another gas can. I forgot to mention that, and I should have mentioned that at the beginning. Uh, I already said that the bike has three hits. However, there are two ways of getting of replenishing those hits: either by grabbing another gas can, or by changing screens. So when the screen goes black. And it goes to another screen that feels fine. So every screen I have three hits. Well actually it's two hits because on the third one you die. Yeah. So here's Dale again. Now he's in a big ball thing in above. I have no idea what that is. But uh, we have to hit him. Every time you heal you hit him, he spawns another shield. And uh, I need to hit him three times every time. That was Battle Glacier. So that was Battle Glacier, and now the end of the game begins. As I was saying, the end of the game begins.
Alright, so this is the final Dreadnought. Uh, it's divided into four small stages. We have intruders on the ship. Mobilize. Uh, they're fairly short. Uh, if I remember correctly, this was supposed to be one huge stage. But the developer decided to turn it into four small stages. So this is round one. A lot of teleporters. There we go. Now that I have the bike, and I can go finally go fast. Here I'm gonna be boost jumping so I can avoid all of the all of the enemies because there's a lot of them. That uh, teleporter. Okay, so now there are some airlocks. Yeah, because physics are simple suggestions. I can just double jump through them without any problem. So here there are. A lot of teleporters. This should be the last one. There we go. And now I'm gonna ditch the bike here. Just for, just ignore the fact that it was just floating there. Uh, don't worry about it. Uh, the reason why I left the bike and I didn't pick up the other one is because, <clears throat> as I've said before, combat is far easier without a bike. That was the first phase. The first phase. That was the second phase. He has four phases. That was the third one. And we're done. So yeah, the reason why the bike is awful for combat is because you can't combo wild force like this. And this is the fastest way to do damage. That, that's why it's better to not have the bike when fighting. And, that, and that's also why in Fortnite it's better uh, to not have the bike. Because you fight better, but you can't not have the bike because it's scripted. Anyway, final round of round two. Uh, this is the other. This is the other stage that doesn't have any bikes. That box that had the two keycards on each side, that's called Red Box. Uh, Lilac Runners and I think Mila Runners as well can use that box to just skip and skip like half the stage. But it's the the worst, the most finicky and random thing they have to do. I'm just gonna grab this key card and run away. Because fighting waste time. Once again, more teleporters. I can just wild kick through everything so I don't lose the shield like I just did. And yeah, I think there are no more teleporters in the stage. Just going back and forth and hitting things. And now I'm on, I'm on an timer. That, that's nice. But it's okay because we have our friend Mila right there. And she spawns blue shields, which are the water shields that you bring underwater. And in this case, with no oxygen. So you can see the oxygen bar is full and it's not depleting. That's thanks to the shield. Uh, if I get hit twice and lose the shield, uh, like that, the timer starts going down again. Alright, so here's... I'm gonna do a setup for a huge sip. I just need to jump on this, jump here, and then do this, 
and then just mash the jump button. There we go. I restart. I restarted here, so I could just um, skip a cutscene and go straight to the boss. I can only damage his head. And that was round two. So once again, we have to wait for the whole fluff to, to end. And this is round three. Uh, this is by far the fastest stage in the game. There are those things, those boosters, those exist. You also get a bike right off the bat. And there are many other bikes. I think there are like three or four more in this screen alone. There's another one. And there's another one. Once again, more teleporters. I messed that up. I think I'm on my last hit. I have to be very careful. I'm gonna grab the shield. And basically, I just skipped a whole, uh, whole bunch of going back and forth. Once again, the, th the triple set of um, DNA cannons, but this one are far easier to avoid. And here you'll see me boost jumping a lot. Alright, so I should be almost up to the boss. Last teleporter. I'm gonna abandon the bike here. And now this is an unskippable cutscene. So, uh, I don't know, I guess I'll just check my phone while I wait for this. Alright, so Mila is the boss of Final Dreno 3. You can see there the my shield is also doing damage as well, uh, as well as in the cross. And that was Final Dreno 3. And we're coming into the last stage of the game. No! No! You've got to be kidding me! That's it! Alright, so final run of the four. Uh, this stage is basically a huge tower. I just need to keep climbing up. I almost got that sip without a setup. There's a sip here. It's very just as the other sips there. It's very finicky. There we go. I got it. 
So if you stand in a, in a specific spot, it's a fairly big window, but it's hard to find. Uh, you just you just get pushed into the wall, and then you can uh, pounce to the right and basically skip a, uh, part of the climb. You can see that I got hit by the laser. I did that to uh, boost myself up the tower. Well, I lost the shield, so now I can do the thing. I'm gonna wait here. The reason why losing that shield is a problem is because there's a wall of spikes. Uh, and as you know, the metal shield makes you immune to spikes, so I can just wall climb through those spikes. But now that I don't have the shield, the shield, I can wall climb those spikes. So I just have to use these like elevators. They're very slow. Boring. All right, so time comes up. This is the final boss. Uh, he has three phases, so time comes up when I kill the third phase. You might recognize this ship from Battle Glacier. It's the same ship, except he has a different pattern now. Oh yeah, there's like a, a green and... well, the green's gone, but the, this orange thing... That's the boss's health bar, basically. So, now this is phase two. I, rest I just restarted to save some um, RTA. So he gets into a giant mech, and uh, in the latest version, which is this one, uh, he has a set pattern. Uh, in the previous version, he was completely random. Okay, so from this point on, it's random. Those first four attacks you saw, that those are scripted. Yeah. Alright, so that's phase two. Uh, this is phase three. Now he's on foot. Yeah. I have to be careful with that knife, because it literally does half my health. Yeah. And time. <sighs> so that was Freedom Planet. I'm just gonna skip this to go to the credits. And I'm just gonna skip all of this, all of this, all of it, all of it. There we go, 3618. 99. Uh, this is actually like a minute slower than my, than my PV. Uh, I wanna say that it was thermal base, that's kinda saved it because the zip. And yeah. Um, I'm done. That, th this was fun. Thanks for having me here. That was Freedom Planet. Uh, and I still have no idea what a carol is. So, thanks for watching and good night. I'm not sure what's next and I'm not gonna just make a guess. So, whoops, I guess.